Hey guys, Jennifer Nicely here with Pinnacle Real Estate Academy. I wanted to give you a little bit of information uh, specifically to South Carolina. I'm not sure if you are aware of this, but writing bad checks is illegal. And there are a couple of ways to go about getting your money back if someone has written you a bad check. See, this just happened to me uh, not too long ago. It was about September of 2022 where I paid a general contractor $2,500 to come paint a portion of, uh, of my living room, of my house. And he took my $2,500, and the reason I gave him the $2,500 up front is because he had done other services for me, had completed it, I had paid him on the back end, and so while paying him for another service, I went ahead and wrote a $2,500 check for the paint service that had not yet been rendered. So I give him $2,500, he cashes it. He tells me over and over, we're coming, we're coming, he gives me dates, he gives me times, uh, he he keeps following up with me and then all of a sudden nothing so december of 2022 i am now ghosted by this general contractor he's not answering me he's not showing up he's not giving me my money back uh nothing so i have my fiance give him a call from a different phone number thinking you know he's got my phone number flagged he's not answering me anymore he actually answers my fiance's phone call basically cuts him off hangs up on him basically goes you're not getting any money well, he gives him a call back and he says, look, we're, we're going to file a lawsuit or you need to bring this $2,500. The general contractor says, okay, I'll have you the $2,500 tomorrow. He brings a check by my home and I deposit that check two days later. Two days after that, the check bounces. So I go to the bank and I bank at the same bank he, he wrote the check from. And so I went to this bank and I said, can you look in this person's account? Tell me if they have the money for the $2,500 for me to deposit this check again. Because if he doesn't, I don't want to keep paying this fee of bounced checks when I'm not getting a response from this guy. And the bank basically said, uh, looks like this person just keeps using this account but doesn't have the money in the account. Of course, for privacy reasons. They couldn't tell me how much he had in the account or any activity that was going on. But basically, the account was active but did not have enough money to be active. So I decided I'm not going to sit here and chase this money anymore. I'm going to go down to Magistrate's Court and I'm going to file small claims small claims case against this person. So I go down there, I do that. It's $80. It takes about 60 days, 30 days for the sheriff to notify him, another 30 days for him to make right of, of the situation. Uh, and 60 days pass and he didn't make right of the situation. Now here's my problem and here was my ultimatum. I either could go to Magistrate's Court and let's say he doesn't show up, which chances are he wasn't going to show up. He's not responding to anything. And if he didn't show up, I would automatically win. The only problem with that is it would be a judgment against his property. So number one, he might not have property. And now I can't put a judgment against it. Number two, if he does have property, who says he's going to sell it in the next 45, 60, 70 years? So I could have my $2,500 hanging out there forever and ever if this man doesn't have real estate or if this man never sells or refies his home. So I decided to cancel my small claims court and I decided to call the worthless check division. Now this is the Horry County Solicitor's Office. So when you call the Horry County Solicitor's Office, there is a specific division called the worthless check division. Now they ask for the original check. They ask for the return from the bank. They ask when you deposited, when the check was dated making sure that they didn't post date, making sure that you didn't uh, cash the check before a date, but everything aligned. Now, I did this about 45 days ago. And what happens with the worthless check division is they go after these people and they notify them that there is a warrant out for their arrest. And if they do not pay this bad check they wrote, plus the fee on top of it for the worthless check division of the solicitor's office, then they are going to be arrested and taken to jail. I'm happy to say I got my $2,500 back last night and the worthless check division worked so efficiently and 
fast and easy and much better than filing small claims court. So please know that if you have someone who writes you a bad check and you cannot get that money from them, you can call the worthless check division. However, it has to be done within a certain time frame. You cannot wait forever to do this. If you had someone write you a bad check six months ago, you're not going to be able to go to worthless check division now um, because they're going to say, well, why did you wait six months? So keep in mind, it's a, it's a timely thing, but they work efficiently and they get your money back. So again, Horry County Solicitor's Office, Worthless Check Division, check it out. And if you have any clients, tenants, landlords, business owners, whatever it may be, general contractors, vendors, writing you bad checks, go to the Worthless Check Division. That's going to be your best bet. Hope you guys are having a great day.